Here we've got a question involving 3D shapes, and when we read the question carefully, we can see that it talks about being mathematically similar. Now, when we go into 3D with mathematically similar shapes, we should remember there are three rules of um, similar shapes to do with scale factors. We've got the linear scale factor, which is the new length divided by the old length, so we look for a new length and an old length of a shape, and then we can compare them to get the scale factor. We've got the area scale factor, which is the linear scale factor squared, and we've got the volume scale factor, which is the linear scale factor cubed. So those are the rules that we should be writing down when we see a question talking about mathematically similar 2D, 3D shapes. Then we read the question to find out uh, what they're actually telling us. They're telling us that the height of cylinder B is twice the height of cylinder A. Well, heights are just single lengths, so that allows us to calculate a linear scale factor. So for this question, we can see very quickly that the linear scale factor is, well, the new length is twice the height of the other one. So the linear scale factor is going to be 2. They've told us the total surface area of cylinder A is 180. They want us to find the surface area of cylinder B. Well, that involves area scale factors because we're talking about surface area. And the area scale factor between two similar shapes is going to be the linear scale factor squared, which in this case is 2 squared, so 4. So the areas between the big shape and the uh, small shape is 4 times. So to get the answer for B, then B is going to be the area of A times by the area scale factor of 4, which gives us an answer of 720 square centimetres again, remembering the units.